back for the last time today. Uh, I'm going to do the movie, it's more of a sci-fi movie than a horror movie, but I looked it up on IMDb and it says it had uh, trace elements of horror in it, so I'm just going to count it as a horror movie, keep it in my collection, add on to it. This is a very cult movie. It is Laser Blast, and I'm guessing it was made to cash in on the popularity of Star Wars, because there are references made to Star Wars in the movie, and, um, but I like this just as much as Star Wars. It's, it's so awesome. Um, it's just about this kid, he's, well, I wouldn't really call him a kid, he's like, he's like 17 or something, and, um, he discovers this laser cannon that is, has been dropped from space or something, like, there was this space guy who had it, and, um, he was killed, and then Billy finds the, uh, gun, the laser gun, and, uh, whenever he uses it, I mean, he begins to use it more and more, and whenever he uses it, it slowly mute, mutates him into this weird alien creature. And um, there are these other aliens, like the one in the front box cover here, uh, who are trying to get the gun back. And that's pretty much a basic plot premise of the whole movie. But um, may I just say that even though the special effects in this movie are cheesy, they're awesome. The aliens, they're just so cool. There's two of these guys. They're, they're just awesome. They're... Um, I'm not really sure how to describe them. <sighs> I'm trying to think of like a way to cross. It's sort of like a cross between E.T. and a dinosaur. So, a dinosaur or like a gecko or some sort of thing. But, um, dinosaur, E.T., gecko, whatever. Um, but they're just really cool. And they have, they have so much personality. Like, it's going to sound... Uh, it's the animation on them is great. Just whoever did that did a fantastic job with these creatures. Um, they have, even, like, they have just the greatest personalities ever. Um, it's a very well done film, even though you know a lot of people think otherwise. It's a very controversial film as far as what people think of it. I really enjoyed it. It's sort of the sort of thing where you either love it or you hate it. There's no real middle ground. But I loved this movie. I thought it was fantastic. Um, again, the effects aren't great. But, you know, what you gonna do, it was, it was man, like, it was the early, it was the late 70s. So, you know, um, the release is pretty good. It's, I think, as far as I'm aware, it's the only release of the movie that's ever been done. So, you know, you can't really complain, because, about the release, because you don't really have an alternative. Um, yeah, they have all, there weren't really many behind the scenes, there weren't, really any behind the scene features or any of that stuff because like movies like this they're very rare and any behind the scenes footage would be probably missing by now or would have deteriorated because you know no one really gives like when they're filming it nobody really gives two craps about that stuff especially if it's a movie like this which didn't do so well at the release but now you know everyone wishes they could see some behind the scenes footage of it but you know they don't know that at the time so you know it either gets lost or just like deteriorates and disintegrates um, but yeah the film is digitally remastered as most of the DVD releases are it has the trailer and a few trailers of the other uh, movies that were coming out around this time just like you know grindhouse trailers and um, it has text filmographies of the actors which is I think pretty good well you know I don't they're never, I don't really ever it's good that they at least made the effort to put them on there, but, you know, I never really read those things. I don't really care so much about the actors. Usually, this sort of movie, they don't go on to do anything else. It's just a one-time deal. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, the effects were sort of like Spaceballs. A bit worse than Spaceballs. But, um, you know, it sort of... The effects sort of reflect the area, era it was done in. And, um, I, personally, I loved that era. So... Therefore, I love this movie, if that makes any sense. But, um, yeah, if you got a chance, check it out. It's pretty good. In fact, it's very good. The effects are very good, in my opinion, even though, you know, you know how they're done, but they're very, just the way they're handled, they're very well done. And, um, yeah, that's all I can really say. Check it out, Laser Blast. The best Star Wars knockoff, if it is a knockoff, I'm not sure, ever.